Hey, Fremont. Time for some more mean tweet responses from Mr. Caprilis. Um, so I got four questions this year. And the first question I've actually got for you is, what are you asking me? Some of this stuff, I I don't know. You, you got to realize I I may not be up on the latest. So I'll do my best with these questions, but I sometimes don't quite understand what they mean. So the first one says w teacher just the letter w teacher no need of any roasts um i'm i i guess that's like you don't need to roast me because there's nothing really to give me a bad time about um when i mentioned this um uh to my wife she wanted to know if well if there weren't any roasts was i supposed to do ribs or chicken or something i really don't know what that one means all right mean tweet so why would anyone roast must stay? Thanks. Do I have to go to AP Bio to learn that too? Definitely a salty sophomore wrote this one. And no, you weren't ready for the real me and nor were you ready for real biology. All right. Hi everyone. I'm Mr. Rognus and I'm gonna read uh, I'm gonna read some mean tweets that the students put together. Okay, first one. A year later and still wearing those shitty squeaky shoes. Um, I resent that. I'm not wearing the, I'm not wearing squeaky shoes anymore, but I might bring them back just, just to spite whoever wrote this. Mr. McGee looks like a donkey. I assume you mean Don Quixote, noted for his chivalry and bravery. If not, then you're actually insulting donkeys. Um, okay, let's go to the second one here. You can do a lot of things, but are you actually good at any of them? Okay. So here's the truth. Yes, okay, I'm good at everything that I do and uh, I'm not gonna apologize for being great, okay? So you're just a hater. Mr. McGee is so old he can teach us about the ice age. Well, first of all, check your MySpace pages. Climate change is real. And most of you will likely have to figure out how to live through one. Second, there are many advantages to being old. I have a fully developed prefrontal cortex don't knock it until you've tried it. I have to work for another seven months. I have enough money to the rest to last me the rest of my life. I have empathy. Does asking the most questions at a staff meeting get you a higher raise? That absolutely came from Mr. McGee. I have no doubt in my mind about that. No, asking more questions at a staff meeting does not give me a higher raise. It just gets me my questions answered. Thank you very much. Okay. She pretends to be all nice and happy on the outside, but in reality, she could probably spend hours talking about how proteins resemble dead people. True. All right, next one. I took my APUSH Unit 3 test in 1492 when Christopher Columbus discovered America, and I still haven't gotten it back in 2022. Um, that's a good one. Uh, that's probably the best one I've gotten, but still, honestly, still not great, okay? First off, Christopher Columbus didn't discover America, and I don't think that you discovered how to be funny either. So there you go. My mean tweets are better than yours. Next one. Can't engineer a way to find that hairline. Well, yeah, that's true. The hairline keeps moving back. Um, I, you know, I, I, I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me. I really don't care um how much hair is on the top of my head i mean you, those of you who knew mr coning he had no hair on his head okay um you know and we are the engineering teachers together but the the one thing that makes me sad about that is i've through genetics given it to my son my middle one in particular and he is just horrified by the fact that he's losing his hair um but it, I, I, I don't really care that, that I'm losing my hair. It's just what happens. And then next up we have, we have yet to see a hairline. I'm not sure what that's about. Okay, here's the hairline right here. Okay, read it and weep, Fremont High School. She really makes slides. Yes, I do. And then decides to ditch them halfway through class. Well, if y'all were a little faster, maybe we could finish all the slides that I actually made. Even your wife don't want your last name. Yeah, because she's a free-thinking, independent human with a brain and not a piece of property, my young Neanderthal friend. All right, next one. Become louder and more fun. I am starting to fall asleep in your class. I'm the one who has to become more fun and you're the one who's falling asleep in public. All right? I don't know if those things add up, okay? But, but um, I'll keep it in mind. Next and last but not least, imagine liking muscular men. Oh. 
Jimmy G. Next one, Mr. Dobrovich is louder than you. Um, okay, that uh, that could definitely be true. Mr. Uh, but you know what, Here, here's what I have on my side, okay? Mr. Clark told me the other day that I sound like I was trapped in a well for three days, and that's why I talk so loud. So I got that going for me at least, all right, Mr. Dobrovich? Last one says, your bald spot is top G. Again, I'm not quite sure what this is asking or saying, but I'll take it that my head will get me onto top gear. And yes, I would love to be on top gear. That would be fun. I always pushed for, or I was always thinking that they used to have this thing called um, uh, stars in a reasonably priced car. Well, I'd like to have a commoner and a ridiculously priced car. So send me to Top Gear UK, and I'm happy to get in a McLaren 720S and take it around that track. Right. Uh, is your girlfriend actually real, or is she imagination? Well, she's real to me. She's real to me, okay? And that's all that it, that's all that really matters, okay? Um, all right, that's it. Those are the mean tweets for, for this year. Uh, I gotta be honest, they were no good. They weren't very mean. They were not that funny. Better luck next year. Better luck next year.